Alright people, welcome back. More card reviews. So today we are looking at a very interesting trap card. So this card is called Heavy Dust Storm. Now, besides that dust in the middle, you know, heavy storm, you know, and, you know, dust tornado. So it's kind of like a heavy storm-ish card. It's more background popping. You know, the closest thing we thought we were going to get to Heavy Storm Splash Properties for the Duster in the TCG was Twin Twisters, but no, this card is yet one step closer. So it is a simple trap card, normal trap card that reads, target up to two spell slash trap cards on the field, destroy them. You cannot conduct your battle phase to turn you activate this card. So the first thing that comes to my mind is, of course, Twin Twister. You know, I play Twin Twister, pitch, and pop two, so I even out, you know. I play Twin Twister in the card, I just card for two of your cards, we even out, which is, you know, fine. This card, on the other hand, that's just a straight up plus, and that's what I really like. You know, I, I am definitely an advantage player, and I like having more cards than my opponent. You know, the more cards that I have on my opponent, the more resources that I have, the more options that I have. And, you know, life points don't mean shit as long as I have more cards. And, you know, I could be at 100 life points and have, you know, 10 cards to your two cards when you have 8,000, and I could probably still turn the duel around, so... Uh, just the fact that I use this one card, this one heavy dust storm to pop two of your back row is actually pretty good, you know. Now, of course, it is a little slow. It is a trap card, which means that uh, arguably going second, I would definitely say that Twin Twister is still better. You know, your opponent goes first. You know, they set their strike and their warning. You go, you draw into your sixth card, so you're already one card above, uh, above your opponent going second. Play Twin Twister's pitch. And pop those two then i can do my plays but if you're going first on the other hand then i would definitely say that this card is a little bit better because you set this you know your opponent will probably be inclined to set back row during the end phase of their first turn unless they just want to go ahead and throw their twin twister at this in which case like yeah sure that's fine whatever you know but you know during the end phase of their turn they've set the back row they're ending the turn getting ready to pass it back to you and just like during your end phase heavy dust storm pop those two before they can even be played, even if they were, you know, uh, possible trap cards that would be able to go off during the start of your turn, you're popping them during the end phase of their turn, so they have to be set for an entire turn before being activated, of course. Uh, it's like, oh, you can't conduct your battle phase during the turn you activate this card. Well, I don't plan on conducting my battle phase during your turn, but I do plan on conducting my battle phase twice, just like YCS. Uh, <laughs> okay, we're not even going to go into that, but still. Uh, the fact remains is that if I just play this card during your turn, the whole you can't conduct your battle phase during you activate this card becomes mute. But, I mean, I see where Konami is coming from, you know, because if I could just be like, all right, well, during my turn, I activate this card, pop those two, oh, and I can still conduct my battle phase, I guess Konami wanted to make this card just a little bit more even. But, yeah, just the fact that I can potentially go plus one on you and you know i love going plus one on you and pot of greed is a great ass card pot of desires is still a great ass card if i can go plus one over you then you know i'm one step closer to winning the game so i think that overall this is a really really great card and i would probably lean towards playing it you know especially now since max sees that one it's kind of like you're more inclined to go first you know it's like yeah i'm one less card uh drawn than my opponent but the way that decks are nowadays i can probably have some way some shape some form of just going plus and gaining a ton of resources over uh, the threshold of just starting off with five so i can go ahead and set this and pop your back row and go plus one over you on top of everything that i'm doing then yeah i'm probably gonna uh possibly win one step closer just popping uh your two back row for one of my heavy dust storm so really good card really good card thumbs up uh, he said, this card, this card, I'm going to say, this card is the closest you're going to get to getting Heavy Storm back in the TCG, because I don't think Konami, and I would not be surprised if TCG maybe limits this card, because it, it, it is that powerful. So tell me what you guys think about Heavy Dust Storm in the comment section below, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this card review. Of course, I'll be back on Wednesday to look at another card. Uh, so if you haven't already, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell for notifications, and I will see you guys uh, next time with another card for a card review. All right, people, thanks for watching.